Why does this girl look so sad? Well, it's because she wants her objects to be gold, and in this video we'll be doing just that. It is not just the gold colour, you can change it into any colour you want. So you can change it into blue, green, purple, violet, cyan, whatever monochromic colour that you want. So let's begin. Let me drag this image of the treasure chest down here. And as you can see, it's a very colourful colour with various colours. So the first method I'll be showing you will be in the colour page. Let me head over to the colour page. Now we'll go to saturation and change the saturation to zero. And we'll click on this icon, which looks like a spider web and grab the middle circle here and drag it anywhere you want. So as you can see now it's green, you can drag it to the blue side, now it's blue, but we want it to be gold, so I guess gold would be somewhere here. This looks pretty gold to me. And you can adjust the leaf, gamma and gain. So I will adjust it while looking at the picture to change the shade of gold. And once you are pretty satisfied with it, select the node, Hold down ALT and press S to create another node and we'll click on effects and we'll search for a glow effect. Now drag the glow effect onto our second node and here you can adjust the shine threshold to make it glow and adjust the spread. So that is how you do it in the color page. However, I'll show you another way to do it and that will be in the fusion page. So let's go to the edit page and we'll drag this aside and we'll drag the original image back down into our timeline. Now we'll go to the Fusion page. So the difference between the Fusion page and the color page is that in the Fusion page, you can choose the specific color. So you can Google the specific color code that you want and have it change into that color. So let me click anywhere to make sure none of the node is selected. I'll hold down Control Space and I'll add a background node. And let me search for the gold color code. So I'm searching on my second monitor, which you can't see. Now I'll select background and I will double click this color. And beside HTML, I will paste the color code. So this is the color code of gold, which is FFD700. I'll press OK. And now I'll connect the output of background to the output of media in one, which will create a new merge one node. Now I'll select merge and I'll change the apply mode from normal to hue. Voila! Now I'll select Media in 1, Ctrl C to copy, select anywhere else, Ctrl V to paste, and I will connect the output of the Media 1 1 to the blue input of our Merge 1. So this will bring back our, our checkered background, which is the transparent background. So you can further finesse the goal by selecting Media in 1, Ctrl Space will add a color character. So this is to change the shade of goal. And here you can adjust the hue. Let me make this bigger. You can adjust the saturation. So you have to look at the image on the left as you are adjusting. Adjust the contrast. Adjust the gain. And you can do whatever you want. And make sure to do this. Go to Options and click on this checkbox beside Predivide Post Multiply. Alright, now we will select Merge 1, Control Space, and we will add a glow node and press add and here you can adjust the glow size to make it even brighter or you can adjust the glow as well so i'm pretty satisfied with something like this now i'll go back to my edit page and let me drag this to the second track the one on top and let me drag the one that i did in the color page below that clip so now you can see the difference and let me give it a while for it to render because it might look a bit weird if it hasn't rendered yet Alright, now that it has fully rendered, let me select the clip on top and press D to deactivate it. So this is what I did in the color page, and this is the fusion page. So color, fusion, color, fusion. So tell me which you prefer. And please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and we'll see you next time.